<laughs> Maybe in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> well, so what we have to worry about is when Putin stands up and starts saying, call me Dynamo, then, yeah, shit's going to hit the fan. Hmm. Uh, as long as he doesn't ask us to start calling him Palpatine, because that's, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Man, that it's was such close. a good transition, and he just... <laughs> <laughs> Dynamo, Boba Fett. You could have just picked up that ball and ran with it, Pete. Oh, dude. I... <sighs> so, Boba Fett, what are you thinking so far? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you hate it like all of Reddit? <laughs> all of Saltier Than Great, which I don't understand. Like, it's great. Dude, Reddit, Reddit just hates their life, right? Like, I, I, I hate Reddit for the fact that Reddit just hates everything. I like I think Star Wars fans are just so salty, which I can understand why not, you know, why or why they are um, with the direction that the Star Wars industry has gone in. But okay, as someone I'm who reading. didn't didn't grow up with <laughs> Star Wars, like it's catering to my audience. And I love the direction that Boba Fett is going is going through. Like, I, I think it's great. Like, so, so the Reddit community you're talking about. I'm curious on how they feel about the High Republic because I bet they love it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's back and forth because it's it's okay. So Saltier Than Crates started because a lot of the controversial topics for Star Wars were being removed or deleted from the original Star Wars subreddit, and it started after Episode Eight, I think. So well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, they were talking about they want to change uh, the name of both its ship because they don't want to be Slave 1 anymore. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Starfire. No, not Starfire. Spitfire. No, that's stupid. That's dumb. Don't even condone that, Peach. Look, look, it look. I Slave 1. It's I always been it. Slave 1. I like it because one can't just call someone a slave anymore. <laughs> like Stormtroopers. It's not, it, and it's number ship. two. And number two. The reason it's called Slave One is because Django Fett was the original clone. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I, I understand where where the nostalgia is for that, but why why, why can't we just change it to something that's a little but more? But then fitting? again, if if you don't like it, then why did you buy it? Right? Like if Disney didn't like the IP they were buying. Why did they buy it? Why did they not just make their own story, right? Like, so if if it was so offensive, right, they should have just let Boba Fett and Slave One retire. They had their ending. They were done. There was no need to bring them back, right? Cash cow. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Disney decided to bring them back. So you can't. You can't resurrect somebody from the grave and then try to change everything about them. It just but, doesn't work. But what if what if Boba had actually decided to rename the ship after he took it? Because he's not the original clone anymore. That was his father. Well like like I, I wouldn't I don't know. Like, so he's Alpha. Uh Boba would be Alpha, and then you have Omega, which is the female version of Boba. Mm -hmm. And she's what's in the Bad Batch. Oh, I need to watch the Bad Batch. So, but yet. are they going to go back and rename Slave 2 and Slave 3? I don't know. I mean, if they don't, then you know that it's a personal decision of Boba. So are they going to go back and change Slave Girl Leia to Forced Imprisonment Leia? I don't like... Well, that that's sense. already can't like that's already in the story. Like this is progressing beyond the original Star Star Wars like story. Like it's progressing Boba's story. I mean, look at him with the Tusken Raiders. Like he he had a lot of growth like just from them. So oh, yeah. like you know like Love maybe like the leader that he's becoming. I mean, look at like him adopting those little little street gang that have really cool speeders. That I want one. I, Every, I want one just like the green one. Everyone, <laughs> everyone on uh, Saltier Than Crate called them uh, Power Rangers. <laughs> 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 Saw that a couple uh, of weeks back. But like, 
also the simple fact that they could just never call the ship by its name, right? Like, just leave it be and just never use the name. That's mm-hmm. also an option. Yeah, could be. I don't know. I'm really offended by them trying to change Boba Fett stuff. Like, I don't know. Boba Fett has a special place in my heart. I've always He was always my guy, right? Yeah, no. Like, that was the first little action figure I had and everything, so... Like, well, it's like a, it's very near and dear to your heart. Like, don't change it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Lion King for me, like live action. I have never seen it. I will never see it. Same. Because Lion King holds such a special heart place in my heart. Same. Cage gets it. Cage gets where I'm at. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I love that Danny Trejo is in, is in this as the Sarlacc caretaker. It is so cute and so on brand for Trejo. Right. Like he, but you could see the disappointment in his face when uh, Bob was like, I want to ride it. And the guy was like, but I was going to train him for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I've ridden bigger. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I've really liked where it's been going. Uh I like that they doubled back to the Sarlacc a couple times and given a lot more information. Mm-hmm. Uh, now he's on the hunt for his armor, which we know he finds, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, they we saw the glimpses of the Mandalorian. We didn't see him, but we saw, you know, the flashes he was doing. Like, we saw his little battle from this a distance. So, I'm really, I'm really, like, digging where it's going. And... Mm-hmm. I mean, you could always be salt. Like we get again, we can always be negative and hate on it, or we can find the little gems that we did like. Yeah, when I heard the like Mandalorian music at the end of the last episode, I was like, <gasps> and Alan's like, it was already spoiled for me on Reddit. <laughs> Fucking saltier than crate. The day before. We watched it. I was scrolling through Reddit and I saw, oh, do you guys think that the Mando tie-in and the recent episode of Boba was worth it? I'm like, what the fuck? You don't use spoiler tags anymore? The fuck's wrong with y'all assholes? But everyone was salty about that, <laughs> but, too. They, they... So right there, <sighs> they should lose all like respect from you yeah, they to did. go to that they, Reddit. They did. <laughs> they did. Because they're all, shitting, they're all shitting on the idea that... They all seem to think that the Book of Boba was so bad from the studio's perspective that they needed to include the Mandalorian. But what's to say that the Mandalorian, that, that Din Djarin was already going to be included? Well, so yeah. that's the other thing, right? Like, Din Djarin's story came to a, a positive conclusion. So how do you bring him back into the story? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I totally agree. Plus, it was nice to get the backstory of what, like, Boba went through to come back, and then how he met up with Din Djarin, like, later on. Like, it, it was necessary, I think, to understand the full arc of Boba, like, where he's at now. Also, you could totally tell that uh, uh, Lucasfilm studio executives were paying attention and writing down notes during the Parks and Rec episode, or what's his face was filibustering and talking about how how uh, Disney will bring back Boba. First, you zoom in on the <laughs> Zarlacc pit. You're talking about you see... the Josh episode, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just got a free sub to um, Paramount Plus because we're watching football, um, and Parks and Rec is on there, so I'm very excited to watch Parks and Rec. <laughs> I know they moved it off of everything else and they put it on that. It's kind okay. of funny. why, but they have SpongeBob, all the Nickelodeon shows. <sighs> well, we'll see. And that was the thing, right? Like Nick was making that deal with uh, Netflix, and they had a bunch of stuff coming out, and it just stopped, and it all went to Paramount. Yeah. Also, no wait, that was Cartoon Network. A ton of Cartoon Network stuff went to HBO. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're talking about like trimming our our subscriptions down because like HBO, we're not watching anything new. I'm watching The Sopranos. He just finished Metalocalypse, but that's pretty much everything we're watching on HBO. Like, there's nothing interesting but on there. I need to. I can say HBO patrol. has more new content than than like uh, Disney, Amazon, or Disney. So that's hard, right? Like, 
you can watch the newest movies on HBO Max. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We'll cancel Disney. We'll we'll, we'll cancel Disney. Because Disney, like, as soon as Book of Boba's done, we can cancel it and just wait. Yeah. Well, again, so let's put it right here. Netflix is down in their stock thirty or fifty percent right now. Okay, they're not looking good. How far off do you think we are from the? So we saw the dot com mergers, right? We saw the rise of all these dot com companies, and then they all crumbled and merged into Google and Yahoo. Mm -hmm. So, how long before we see the streaming merge? Like we all know it's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're already kind of seeing it in like different facets, like Disney and like Fox <clears throat> and like all the other big ones. Um. Yeah. I mean, like maybe it's just like Netflix's like way out. Like this is like their push. They are the, they're now the blockbuster <laughs> <laughs> at Hollywood Video. I mean, we all know the the model that would make them all a bunch of money is that. If instead of me paying fifteen dollars a month for Netflix, I can pay five dollars a month for Netflix, five dollars a month for you know, like give me portions of the other all the streaming services on one platform, and then we're good. Like make Netflix a channel rather than its own personal streaming platform. Able to but in order to do that, I guess you have to use Hulu. And Disney owns ninety percent of Hulu, so yeah, that's a problem there. What else is coming up on Disney after Boba? Like Hawkeye? We need to finish that already out. Yeah, that's all. Done. It's all out. I I can tell you that doesn't even interest me. It's like, come on, like I'm over superheroes. Yeah, like. <laughs> I uh, I told y'all like when the when Infinity War ended, that was really it for me for the Marvel universe, right? Like we had ten years of nothing but Marvel. Before and, that was Harry Potter <laughs> and zombies. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And vampires. And, and so now, so now it's like you're giving us Black Widow and Hawkeye after you already killed off one of them, right? And the other one's not really relevant anymore. Um, yeah. I'm like really interested in like the fantasy series. Like I want us to get back into that. Like Lord of the Rings, Amazon show. Um, and then like Wheel of Time on Prime. Like that show is amazing. It is so good. The way the display magic magic use is beautiful. And then, like, last week, uh, The Expanse had its final episode. Final, final episode? You know, it was, yeah, Damn. it was the series finale. Which, I don't know if you have watched any of it, but that is an amazing story. And that's, it's still space-related, but it's, I don't know, it was interesting. It was good. The actors were good. The stories were good. And it ended too soon. Well, that wraps up another great episode. And don't forget to join our amazing and supportive community on Discord. In our Discord, you can find game nights, watch parties, food picks, Dungeons and Dragons, and more. What's not to love about that? We have a little something for everyone. Head over to our website, officialmillennials.com, and you'll find more info, especially our featured gamer of the week. Speaking of something for everyone, we have a book club. We read a book almost every month and talk through it together. We also have a special perk for our subs to discuss other books in a series called Chapter 2. Don't forget to swing by YouTube and uh, drop us a follow at Official Millennials. You can also find us on Twitter at Mills Official. We appreciate all the support and y'all have a good one. This is an Official Millennials production.